Hey everyone, welcome back to Poplar Preparedness. I'm going to be talking about the FFP2001. Uh, I'm probably going to say some things that um, FF Power is not going to be happy about. But I am doing a review and my loyalty is to you guys. I want to make sure that you guys are getting the best deal you can and the best kind of unit. Now the first thing I want to say is this unit is fantastic. It's a fantastic unit. There is going to be a downside here, and that is that this unit isn't unique to FF Power. You may look at this thing and say, that looks awfully familiar, and for good reason. Akatol has a P2001, same name, and it is literally the same unit. We'll be getting into a little bit more of that, but first off, what I will say about this is I love these units. Uh, the reason why I love these things is this is like the best bang for your buck you can get out there. Now you can get some more complex systems or do a DIY system and you can do those for cheaper. There are options out there, but when you talk about a battery pack and some people are like, well, it's just battery. Well, it's not. It's a battery with an inverter. And of course, it's got a battery management system. So if you want to get raw cells and build your own battery management system, put a cold weather cutoff, uh, put a fuse in there. So there's a fuse right there on the side for safety's sake. I'm not saying that you can't do that for cheaper. You absolutely can do that for cheaper, but you need to know what you're doing. You're gonna to have to watch a bunch of YouTube tutorials and have them walk you through how to put battery management systems because you have to balance your battery packs. If you have lots of different cells, you have to uh, make sure that they're charging uh, equally and that they're not overcharging certain cells as opposed to uh, others, as well as when it discharges, you, you need to make sure that it cuts off when it's too hot and when it's too cold. So there's, um, you know, like a preheat if it's too cold. Um, so there's a lot that goes into a battery pack if you're gonna do a DIY. If you do it properly, it can be a lot cheaper. And, uh, but uh, for folks like me, and I don't know, maybe you, if you don't really have the time to try to learn all those things for yourself, or you're worried about uh, doing it properly, uh, that, that's where we really come into the simplicity of a pre-built unit. For a pre-built unit, these are basically the cheapest out there. And I say this type of unit, the P2001, uh, this one is running for uh, $1,279. Of course, you can find the, the links down below, but you might want to watch through the rest of the video before you go ahead and do that. There's a coupon code that they have over on their website, so it brings it down to $1,279 for a 2,000 watt hour unit. Now this also discharges at 2,000 watts, so you can run 2,000 watts of, of, of things on it. It does go up to a peak or a surge of 4,000 watts. So if you have something that's like an engine that's turning over, like a refrigerator or a freezer, they, they have this like spike where uh, it, it gets going, and once it gets going, then, then the power consumption drops dramatically. Um, it can handle those spikes for a very short period of time, but if the spike continues, then it will shut off. It will shut your uh, product off. Um, so it can handle that for a short burst. The other nice thing about these things is they charge extremely fast. They advertise it for 1.5 hour charging, but when you get into the nitty gritty of it, it says um, 1.8 hours in order to charge this from zero to, uh, uh, to full capacity. I actually did a test on this unit and I started at uh, 4.16 p.m. It was at 32%. I took it up to 100% at 5.22 p.m. So just over an hour to go up um, the 68%. The, the uh, basically, that comes in right around the 1.8 hours. And in addition to that, it was also displaying that it was bringing in power from, now this is plugged into the wall, it was bringing in power at 1,099 watts were flowing into the unit according to the display. Uh, so that, that, that seems to make sense. Those numbers make sense compared to each other. And uh, overall, that looks good. The fact that you can charge this thing up in um, under two hours from zero to, uh, to 200, uh, 2,000 watts 
uh, hours is, is actually quite impressive. So that's, that's great. It's fast charging. You get a lot of watt hours for your, for your buck. So what's not to like about it? Um, there's a couple little like nitpicky uh, things and then I'm gonna got the hook for you. Uh, the first is that they advertise this as a universal power supply. So you can plug this into the wall and then you can plug units into it. There is one caveat is one, that only works if this unit is on. And when this unit is on, the fan likes to turn and the display likes to stay on. So that means it's constantly consuming electricity. When you use it as a universal power supply, um, so you're plugged into the wall and something's plugged into here, if, uh, uh, sorry, un in uninterruptible power supply. So if the power supply to the battery pack shuts off, your computer, your laptop, whatever, will continue to get power. So that's great. But when this unit is on, it will continue to drain power from the pack. It's going to be vampire sucking electricity out of the uh, outlet, which for short periods of time is not a problem. But if you're trying to run this thing for days and days and days, that's going to start adding up to a fair bit of consumed power. So that's a nitpicky one. But if you're planning on using it for a universal power, um, un uninterruptible power supply, you might want to take that into consideration. Now it's got 16 ports, lots of ports for everything. You can also put in, um, you can also charge it off solar. Um, I've talked to this about to you about this before. It can take up to 500 watts of solar. It can uh, it can take it at 18 volts up to 48 volts. So that's nice too. So you can run out quite a bit of solar panels off of this. Uh, you don't want to go over 500 watts. If you do go over 500 watts it will just not take more than 500 watts. So uh, if you're like me in Pittsburgh here, we don't really get like a lot of full sun. So yeah, I, I would be going overboard on the solar panels to charge up this battery pack. Here's the hook. The hook is this unit is literally identical to the Ocatel uh, P2001. And Ocatel has a sale going on right now and they're selling theirs for 80 bucks cheaper. So I'm putting both those links down below because uh, I don't know how long that, uh, that Christmas sale is going to go on uh, over at Ocotel. But if you're looking at this unit or, or a unit like this unit, I would recommend actually going over to Ocotel and doing that. And uh, um, FF Power has um, uh, sent me the unit for review and I've, I've looked it over. I've, I've, com I've compared it directly to the Octal P2001. They have the same um, performance. They're, they're doing the same thing. They charge at the same speed. They both have acceptable discharge. Um, you lose a little bit of the 2000 watt hours because of the inverter, but that's to be expected. Um, that happens on any system. So uh, I see no difference except for the little label on the front here, FF Power, uh, Octal says Octal here. Other than that, as long as you don't really care about the name so much, uh, you can say right now you can save 80 bucks over on Octal's website. But um, I, I don't know what the sales are going to look like tomorrow or the next day, but uh, when you go there, um, you know, look for Eleven ninety nine. That's what I'm seeing over at Ocotol's site. It's a twelve seventy nine over at uh, FF Power. That could change tomorrow. It could change the next day. Uh, I don't know, but um, I will. I'll definitely uh, put an update down below if I see the price changes. Um, be aware that this thing is forty eight pounds. It's got some great carry handles on it, um, but. If 48 pounds carrying is going to be a problem for you, take that into a, a consideration. You can put a dolly under this thing, uh, but it, it works great. It has a nice storage container for the for the for the wires and cables, um, so you can plug it directly into uh, solar panels. Uh, it comes with a, a wall cable that goes directly to the wall. It also can charge up off of um, a 12 volt. Um, uh, cigarette lighter adapter. So that's that's what I got for you guys. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I, like I said, I love the units. I love these units, but 
they're they're completely identical. Go where they're cheaper, and that that's my recommendation. And that's that's the review I got here for you. Fantastic product, FF Power. Fantastic product, Akatol. But they're virtually the same. All right, folks. If you found this video useful, helpful, you might want to check out another video from me right up here. Um, I'll see you over there, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar out.